yeoman of Chronopolis. I, Fair Maid Gwenpool, hath accepted the challenge of mentoring the squires of Lego through the perilous uh, bonus quests, privy? That's tough to keep up, so I'll talk all modern-like and tell you the tale of King Arthur and the Dragon. <laughs> Are you slouching comfortably? Then I'll begin. Once upon a time, King Arthur Pendragon was getting all riled up, thinking people were doubting his kingliness. Even though he'd done the whole business with the sword and the stone, and King is, like, his first name. Naturally, Merlin was like, Cool at your kingship, you're acing the whole king gig. All the peasants are big fans. But his kingliness was all like, Maybe, but the only way I'll be a real old school king is if I totally slay a dragon. Difficult to find, though, you're an actual dragon. Fortunately, Merlin has an app on his wand that finds local available dragons for the slaying. Hmm. One in the basement of Garrett Castle? Seems a little too easy to me. Could it be a trap? Even if it is, it'll make an awesome boss fight. Where art thou, fiendish dragon? Show thy ugly face! Sire, we must be careful. I sense a great magical presence in the air. Ah! My dear friend Merlin, you forget that I wield the Sword of Excalibur! Magic is no match for the true king of Camelot! But silence! Whether it be your fancy magic or the flames of a brutish beast, I shall defeat whomever stands in my way to prove that I am the worthy king of these strange lands. Well... Um, yes. Very good, sire. Sire, behold, the dragon is through the gate ahead. We haven't one moment to lose. Then let us make haste, Merlin. It appears the dragon has lured us into some sort of trap. Well, I say to thee, dragon, nay! These spikes are a pitiful foe. Onwards, old friend! <laughs> for these crazy situations. I should have known I would find you lurking in such a dark and dastardly place. Tell me, what pathetic schemes have you cooked up in your cauldron <laughs> pot of witchcraft this time? My dear, dim-witted half-brother, I'm afraid your time on this world has run out. Now, Morgan Le Fay rules supreme. Finally, I can take my place as the true ruler of... Yes, yes, do get on with it. Merlin and I have tickets to the pig jousting this afternoon. Indeed we do, sire. I believe it is time that the great Morgan Le Fay met her match. <laughs> oh, Merlin. Your parlor tricks are no match for my house. <laughs> 
It's such a pity. I really wanted to battle a dragon today. Boy, I could use a superhero right now. Both meet your doom. You wanted to face a dragon. Well, I can do better than that. Observe! Ha! Better than a dragon! <laughs> Enough of these childish playground antics, Lord God. Come down here and face me! Very well. But first, I'd like to introduce you to my new pet. Oh, my goodness! What an odd looking fellow. Look out, sire! Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Yes! Yes! Destroy the might. <laughs> Jester's hat, my dear Merlin. This beast may be a colorful foe, but I don't see how such an item could help us win this battle. Hast thou misplaced thy marshals? Nay, sir. Thou must show patience to defeat such an intelligent creature. What a pleasant tune you play, Merlin. Remarkable! Look! The creature dances like a court jester! Stop that! What are you doing? I command you to So Arthur didn't slay a dragon, but he has to be happy with blitzing that Cree sentry into a bazillion pieces, right? And maybe now old Artie will stop worrying about if he's worthy and start actually doing proper king stuff, like... Uh, waving, opening malls, burning spinning wheels. Standard king stuff. Tip of the pointy hat to Merlin, too, for bringing the pain to Morgana. He sure rolled some critical hits on that female M.U. What? M.U.? As in magic user? Methinks thou doth need to brush up on ye old RPG lingo.